Emma, all right. This is our lace-up booty that's uh, next. And I gotta tell you, I'm a huge, huge fan of this one. This is another HSN exclusive. And you know what, Karen, I really loved about this? This is a little bit of a wink to like a Victorian yes. lace-up booty. Yes. But super, super updated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is great. Yeah, a little bit of a nostalgic nod, but it's got a modern vibe to it. Again, you can have so much fun styling the Velma, this Victorian-inspired silhouette. What I love about this is it's the ankle booty construction. Now, you've got the side zipper to get in and out of the booty, but you also have the... Um, the strings that you, the shoelaces that you can actually tie it. So you can, you know, kind of get a more custom fit with the lace up construction in the front with the Cute. with the shoe strings, if you will. So that. you've got your side zipper and then you have your front lace up to tighten or loosen the fit of the, the boot. So this is, um, I'm holding the distressed suede again. That's the tobacco. The, Tobacco. Mm -hmm. This is tobacco, which is, you know, a, a nice kind of grounded, rustic look. But then we've kind of edged it up and, and made it a little bit dressier with a with a higher oh, heel. heel. And that is two and a quarter inches on the heel. Two mm -hmm. and a quarter inches. I'm going to turn the shoe over to show you the design on the bottom oh, of the shoe. So Again, just this attention to detail that we're so proud of. So if you can see, we've got almost it looks like it's sunburst etched into the sole. I mean, come on, who else thinks of that? It's really Most cute. people would just ignore the bottom of the shoe. Or but what this they is do part is of they our have design. the same pattern in every one. And, and this they don't is change them up. One of our signature details is always paying attention to the design of the outer sole and also that etching adds for added surface traction and grip sure. so there's a there's a engineering reason for it three as well. colors you're holding tobacco this I'm of course tobacco. is going to be the black and these are all in suede yes and then on the opposite end look at this navy pair you girls i mean check out the navy how cool would that be with blue jeans right here on the navy i love that now a couple you're saying you know hey maybe biker style isn't your style and i get it because the last boots just have a more rugged kind of edgier, pretty sexy look to me. Um, we will have something for you in a booty shooty style before this hour is over, our two right. hours together. We have lots of different styles. This is very, very different than the boot we just offered a second ago. So I know a lot of you loved it, but if that's not your style, stay with me. It's okay. Uh, a couple of you said, ah, it's not my look. I get it. Not everybody likes that, but maybe this is, or maybe another one of our little booties coming up will be because we will find something for you that you will love. Let's talk really quick about the exclusivity of this. Once again, you're not gonna find these in a store. I think it's so neat when a brand that's so well recognized, like Born, really are willing to create a one or two or three or four shoes tonight that you cannot find anywhere else, actually for you. And, and you, can you imagine? I mean, that's a lot of work on their part to do exclusives for us. Absolutely. And, and we didn't bring these in specifically in hundreds of thousands. We have maybe 500 pairs total of these and, and that's it. And that's a very small run for Born. I mean, they're around the world. That's so right. So I really love the fact that you guys really do that for us and I think that makes it extra special to own a pair of shoes you're not gonna see everybody wearing because no. you can't get them it really is almost like we created a custom line, you know, exactly. that you are not going to be able to find Great in some point. of our finer department stores that also carry born shoes. I want to give you a pink inside the Velma again so that you, that you can appreciate what we've done inside with the plaid lining again in that velvety soft microfiber and the leather banded upper. Inside we have that same cushiony, pillowy, soft insole. This is covered in a microfiber with a padded arch support. So it's that same spring in your step construction like walking on a cloud. I also want to point out the zipper flap. All of our zippers, this is an added detail for comfort, have an interior flap so that when you zip up the boot, the zipper is protected and doesn't rub against the ankle. So that interior flap really protects the ankle from the rub of the metallic zipper. Again, just that added extra detail that adds to comfort. This is a boot that you can wear all day and literally put it on and forget you have it on. I, mean, I think it's so deceiving when you see something like this and you get it home and slip it on and you're like, it's so comfortable. That's really, to me, the pleasant surprise about wearing Born. And again, it's an experience unlike any other shoe that's out there. You will slip them on and go, oh my gosh. And I love, we had Gladys who called us at the very beginning 
beginning of the hour talking about the clog and she said she just wears her out wears her worn shoes out because she just is always in them and I love what she said too she said I can do a lot more because of the comfort level that's and the right. support that the born shoe gives her the support. and that's a big deal mm -hmm. you know and I think too Karen we talked about this early on we don't want to sacrifice fashion look how darn cute these are with a great little pair of Diane Gilman skinny jeans you could certainly put a trouser over these I love the idea of pattern tights with a great oh, little cute skirt so cute. if you love wearing maxi dresses oh please you know, how cool would a maxi dress you could even rock that look with kind of a bohemian vibe or an eclectic look you could pair some knee socks and a skirt with that oh, and so really cute. take it in a completely different direction it's a great idea so I love the Velma just because it can be styled in so many different ways you also have a little bit more height on this as opposed to the moto boot that we just saw mm -hmm. so for those that want some extra height this is the perfect uh, ankle boot but do you find too the height is really doable I find because of the construction of the footbed that the balance of a born shoe is very comfortable it is and what we also do with our shoes that have a heel to it is we embed a steel shank that is in the bridge of the shoe and that gives it that extra added support and that helps with that even weight distribution that steel shank that's embedded into the bridge of the shoe again that generous toe box nice roomy we've got we've got a rounded toe but it's spacious enough so that your toes are going to be they're you know lay flat and be comfortable and I'm going to point out that apanka stitching all around the sole of the shoe stitching all three parts That's great. of the all shoe right. together I just want to check out the tobacco one more time before those are gone this is number one most popular right now isn't it's fabulous like you can totally you can get a pumpkin picking or you can you know who, I just love this time pumpkin of year picking. I swear do you ever go pumpkin picking? I, I don't go are pumpkin you not from picking. the north I, I go to the grocery store to buy my pumpkins does that make me lazy no it means but you know, I would wear my velvet you need to go up north you, you could store. you'd be like holding that pumpkin at the grocery store no pumpkin <laughs> picking I'm from Ohio we go pumpkin picking anybody from the north knows what I'm talking about right you go to the cider festival the pumpkin picking or go to the grocery store and get your gourds